This is the Olight Splint. It's a knife that's been out for about a year or so, but since Olight seen my recent work on this channel, they thought I would be a good fit to share them. Now, there's a new colorway releasing today in an orange, which I do like a lot, but personally I requested black because I just don't like color in general. And first thing off the bat, this video is not paid. I just got the knife and that's it. Now, most of you watching this video already know this knife and are probably researching it with the other 14 videos you've watched on it. I'll only briefly speak on the things that you've heard already. What this knife is like is kind of what I will get into. So at first opening of this knife, I was really surprised for the quality in this price range. And I am not kidding or exaggerating in any way. This knife feels great in the hand. From the ergonomics, grip, jimping, how it feels under my thumb, and just in general, this thing feels really good. Now, I feel a tad small if you want to spidey flick it, like I feel a little crunched, uh, but that doesn't mean that I can't do it. Just sometimes something like that might happen. But the other ways of opening it are really nice. And I think that that's one of the interesting things about this knife, by the way, because it has the holstead for the regular opening, and then it has this front flipper, which my grip is never very good on it. Yep. Front flipper. And then you have the flip tab, which is probably what you'll use most of the time. I think that the flip is really the primary way of opening. Uh, but then again, this morning I used the front flipper. I probably wouldn't use the, the thumb hole all that much on this knife, uh, just because it's a little small um, of a knife in that sense, where it's just kind of a little bit tight in my grip. To get that so since i got it i have been pretty much primarily using the flick but there's many times that i will use the front flipper which is really fun this is my first front flipping knife and although there's a there's a spot on this that it goes fine it's kind of i don't always nail it maybe i'm just not good at front flips i like the difference of just kind of going back and forth when i take it out of my pocket so if you're looking for a good fidget knife, then there's three ways of opening it, and that's pretty cool. So back to the feel of this, it's very nice G10 scales, and they're nicely finished. And I'm surprised about some of the things about this. It's, it's nearly a fully flush recessed pocket clip, but the screws are recessed. So that's enough, like even my Chris Reeves doesn't even have that. So that's really nice. All of the hardware is recessed. I'm telling you, like, that's nice. It's on bearings, which is nice. But the pocket clip, I do really love. I would prefer it to be black because, like I said, I like black. The blade shape is pretty cool looking. It does have a pretty radical upward turn to it. So it kind of feels more like a slicer. I'm not sure really exactly what they're intending this blade shape for. I think this knife is more of an EDC knife if you keep like you'd keep it on the camping table or in the backyard where you know you might let your friend use it. And because the price is so good, I would think that it would come in handy as like a secondary knife in your pocket or like, or it would be a gift knife, <laughs> whether somebody intentionally walks off with it or if you actually gave it as a gift. But really, I think this knife is really good for a person with like, say like gym shorts or athletic gear, like just clothing, just because of that pocket clip and its physical properties, how smooth it is. Now here's the kicker. The steel is actually really great. And I'm just learning about N690 steel and it holds a lot of the edge a lot longer than let's say like S35N. And the 690 is really popular because it's density and it's extremely corrosion resistant. I'd say this is a pretty solid little knife. I really like seeing knives made by Olight, which is a company that makes flashlights, really good flashlights. And they're really well known. And it's cool that Olight teamed up with Kaiser Knives to make this guy. <laughs> it's just really, it's nice, it's cool, I like it. Another thing they told me is that there's a code for 10% discount uh, if you put in Jeff 4 if you want that or not. Also, there's like a 40% off new and old Discord customers for the next couple days. Uh, so you can log in and get like an Obeed or something for free. I, I think that's what it is. And another thing that they sent me was this pretty cool military pouch. Pouch, it's like a mini version of their popular one. I'm not necessarily a pouch person per se, so I don't really know too much about them or if they're like good configuration, but I can only comment on the material and stitching seems really, really durable. 
and strong. It has little uh, molly loops and all over about for attaching things to. It seems very good, very tactical. I like the zipper. Something worth looking into. I, I think that I'm not sure if this would be like a Maxpedition replacement, but uh, it would be nice maybe for something in the car. I, I have a feeling that this would be a good like either first aid thing or something. So in addition to the normal content here, I've been slowly building, introducing uh, more things that I believe that should be in a man's life, and knives are one of them. If there's any other man kind of stuff you'd like me to cover, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to get into it. So if you're looking for a nice, affordable little cool knife that has a fidget-friendly characteristics to it, I think that you might like this. Take a look. Like I said, there's a new color. That's kind of what they're pushing right now. So, Olight Splint. Cheers.